Our immediate reaction here went with Old Trafford where Newcastle United has been beaten in the last few minutes there. Uh, two and a up with 20 minutes to go. After a wonderful start thanks to Kennedy and Mutu, mm -hmm. 10 minutes in, and then we end up getting beat. Heartbreaking stuff, that Nicky. It's it's shite, man. Like we just went defensive again. Like what's happened all season, being beat. Just playing defensively against the top sides. Fair enough. First half, best 45 minutes I, I can remember from Newcastle. Mm. Then came out second half defensive. Why? Like Man United went shit. They haven't been all season. You don't need to go defensive. Try and push and get another goal. Mm. Like a third goal would have sealed it. Mm. But like two goals, you know what Man United's like? They've been doing it since back in the Fergie days. That's why they call it Fergie time. Yeah. Man United pulled wins back out of nothing. Two goals with 45 minutes left. Why? Why getting defensive? That's what I mean for me. That was too early. Fair yeah, enough. Fair enough with two and up here again at Old Trafford. You know, you're going to sit back. You're going to invade pressure. Not mm. that early. Not straight off from the second half. It's got to be from about 70 minutes. Then yeah. fair enough. How maybe five at the back. Man United were playing two at the back. Yeah. We're trying to catch him on the counter. The problem being, you've got fucking Atsu there. Ah, can it fucking stand oh, Christian Atsu? He yeah, is. I wouldn't even. Wait for player ratings because he's going to get a fucking hammer. Two. <laughs> he's just oh, twos. Fuck twos. He can't pass. He can't pass the ball two fucking yards. Can't pass the ball two yards. He's there. You've got three on three, and he's just fucking it up he's time after time. And that's where the problem lies the day because as soon as Kennedy went off, as soon as the players players starting to get a little bit tired. The fucking everything went, and it's because of that. Yeah, absolutely. Like a, a lot of people are kind of defending Rafa, like saying like, "Oh, he's like a tactical genius and that." Like this season, I, I I'm not gonna lie, I, like, I'm haven't been a fan as I just said. Shouldn't have gone defensive mm -hmm. against them, and his substitutions have been poor. I like, was forced to taking Kennedy off with an injury. I think that's what happened there. Why bring that two on? Like honestly, like I, I can't fathom how he's a footballer. Mm -hmm. He's playing in a Premier League side. He's been a flop everywhere he's went. Wow. Flop at Chelsea, flop abroad, flop at Bournemouth, flop. flop at Newcastle. He's got a little floppy soft cock. <laughs> and I never ever want to see him in Newcastle United shit again. Probably not little, but yeah, it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's got a massive floppy <laughs> cock. He shit at football. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not it's not good, man. Throwing throwing a two 0 lead away like that's being there today was absolutely outstanding. Being in. Like in that was my uh, honestly that first yeah, that first half was, was probably my favourite moment as a Newcastle fan. It really was. Tuna up within ten minutes of the old driver. I've never been more stuck. I couldn't even keep it in. I was so fucking buzzing. I had to pinch myself although I was dreaming. Uh, and then we came. I had a, I had a massive. Oh, wait, not not too massive. I had a hard on. It wasn't like it wasn't like that too. It wasn't floppy. It wasn't soft. It was very hard. <laughs> but it, now you can't even find it, see it, and didn't know where it's it is. Back in. Man. And it's probably going to come back in for the rest of the season. Man, definitely late. This is relegation. This is what happens. Mm. I don't care if it's United or City, if it's Cardiff or Huddersfield. Like, it's going to be a killer blow for the players now. That lo like. Losing a game when you're 2-0 up, like, that's how you get relegated, man. Mm. Like, the like the performances this season, still on two points. How many games win now? Seven or eight? It's eight after it is eight. eight or nine. Eight. We're three points off now because we were seeing half time, we've seen the scores. Oh, we would have went up to 16th level with West Ham, I believe, if we had got three points there. We are now still sitting in 18th or 19th, still in the relegation zone, mm. international break. Brighton at home is a must win in a couple weeks time. I can't, I can't even fathom like how big that game is because nah. like, I know it's early doors but that could be like a relegation decider. If, really if, the, if this game was in the last five, six games of the end of the season, massive, massive, massive game. Mm. So need to start getting them points now before it's too late because mm. come the last five, six games of the season, if there's still not them three points there from Brighton, we're going down. Simple as that. Need to start picking points up. It's a joke. Right. Cheers for everyone. Cheers for watching everyone. Drop in the comments below your thoughts on the game. See you later. Check out the Magpie Channel merchandise. Hoodies, hats, t-shirts, embroidered and printed available and the back print on the new t-shirts. All sizes available. The link will be in the description of this video uh, to the Etsy. It's etsy.co.uk slash the Magpie Channel. Make sure you check it out. Support us. It goes back into the channel. It goes into new equipment. Away days. Prize giveaways for yourselves if you haven't seen the Magpie 4 videos. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourselves!